Y'all were glazing episode 14 and y'all right. Mm-hmm. There was a very good reason for why Kaede was AFK for a season and a half. She was literally, literally just biding her time. She has tentacles. She's one of them. How? Well, tentacle syringe thing. So partial implementation, it's different from Code of Sensei fully. And right now, without the maintenance, it's looking like she's just gonna die. There is this frame at the end of the episode where, you know, uh, Kaede is kind of going crazy, her eyes turning. But then it's almost like she's asking for help. And if only she could just talk it out with Koro-sensei and understand that he didn't do it. But unfortunately, that can't happen. Let's see what's gonna happen today. She's gonna die at this rate. I'm glad you're enjoying Beyblade, bro. You just missed Beyblade, though. Nah, that face has saved me. Oh, that tries to kill me part. Nothing. Okay. Okay. So we need to calm her down. Use the power of friendship to calm her down, and then we can take off the implants. Pull out. That's right, the weak spot. We'll act as a bait. It's gonna be Nagisa. It has to be Nagisa. So Sensei will fake his death and then Nagisa will show up. Minimal damage. Alright, so we can save her. This is actually hilarious that Koro Sensei is like fighting to the death with Kaede, but Kaede is going all out and Koro Sensei is just having a full on conversation with us right now. He's not even taking this shit seriously. Maybe. Karasuma do something. What? Nagisa do something. We need to do something shocking. We need to do something shocking. We need to like pull down Terasaka's pants. And he's wearing like girly underwear with hearts and everything. And then the absurdity of that moment will make Kaede start laughing. Easy. One killer move. What is the one killer move? Is it still gonna be something with cross dressing? What's it gonna do? Not the clap! There it is! Do something crazy! The promise! Nagisa? We already talked about how the clap's not gonna work here. Tickler. A stickler armpit or something. It's gonna be something so stupid. It's gonna be something so absurd right now. Or a kiss. Or a kiss? What the fuck? And then? Bitch sensei's technique. 
bro. Nakamura, Nakamura and Karma were ready. Frame one with the fucking phones. <laughs> yep, yep, ready, ready. <laughs> Two hit combo. Oh my god, full tongue? Five hit combo. And she's back. Yo, Daksa's still going in. Nine, ten. I'll take the tentacles off. Oh, oh my god, yo, the, 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 the actual fucking tongue action right now. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Knocked out by kiss. Now clip it. Bro, he clipped that shit with the nail clipper. A fucking nail clipper. But has there been irreversible damage? That's what I'm worried about. Yeah, really? <laughs> they got the pictures, bro. The karma looks like Koro-sensei right now. Oh. I mean, Bitch-sensei did, you know. 15 hits and a 10-second kiss? Full marks? Even Bitch-sensei can only get 12? She did, like, just deep throw him. Like, the first time we met, remember season 1? She did that in front of, like, everybody in, like, the school meeting, too. How many did she get? How many hits did she get? Okajima wants to try. <laughs> yeah, right, Okajima. <laughs> yeah, now Kuro Sensei though. He'll be fine, right? So they should jump Kuro Sensei right now. They, they should they should jump Kuro Sensei right now. <laughs> kill him. No. It's weird, because like the goal is to kill him, but we can't. Shiro. <laughs> of course. Of course, this leech is gonna show up at the very end again. He's got a shooter this time. Bro, you're the useless one. You can't do anything by yourself. I can't count. Over 10. <gasps> That's so fucking troll, too. Like, the most troll shit is that Shiro's eyes have always been beady to kind of hint that maybe his face is, you know, different. Like Koro-sensei's eyes. But it's a regular fucking human eye. That is so, so troll. I hate that shit. Like, th that's just being dishonest. You intentionally misdirected with these fucking visual cues. And then you say with no fucking logic, yep, nope, it was that, fuck you. Yep. Fuck you for actually trying and paying attention and caring about this show to make guesses. Like, I think that's one of the shittiest things you can do as like an author. If there's like good misdirection or different stuff, yeah, but this is just like shameless. Why even bother making his eyes like that? Who are you? Eh. All right, all right, all right. One eye. Both eyes were like that, though. All right, we, we, got, we got one eye with the fucking dots. He took everything from you? Maybe Shiro is... Maybe Shiro is the husband of... Did you know how I've been saying Asano's principal's, like, um, wife was Kairi's sister? But now if Shiro is saying, you've taken everything from me, maybe he was the husband to Kairi's sister? And because she's dead, he's mad? Like Kaede? I don't know. Wait, guys. It's Yanagisawa, bro. Oh my god, bro. This is crazy. What the fuck does that mean? Who? <laughs> Literally, who? Yanagisawa. Bruh. Bruh. 2.0. 2.0 is just a gimp suit. Bye. You're not gonna finish the job? When Koro-san says vulnerable? You're just gonna do a face reveal and leave? Why? I don't know. I guess he wanted Koro-san to know who he was right now. Anyways, alright, Shiro. Kairi's back. Kayano-san. <laughs> the kiss. That's a lie, huh? Mm. I don't know. 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 I don't
Yeah, you didn't even. Alright, blame the tentacles bloodlust. Quite the long con. Unkillable teacher. I'm surprised they squeezed out that many different scenes. Like, like, considering how Kaede is just AFK, I'm surprised there was enough actually scenes here to pad, you know, the fucking flashback moments. That's impressive. I mean, she's not doing anything though, she's just existing there. <laughs><笑><笑> You can be yourself now. Yo, Sensei, backstory time. Off-screen. I swear, if they don't explain everything just because off-screen. カラスマ先生が入りなしやほど Plus Mach 20. I don't know. So, Nigami to Yobareta Korosia Desta. Huh? But the real re. The Reaper title changed? You're the real Reaper? The f. Wait, what? I don't. What? You're the real Reaper? 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 You're the real that much I expected. I expect Sensei to pretty much die to kind of end the story, but it's looking like he'll die at March. Yeah, like, 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 it definitely could be. The, I mean, the Reaper was inspired by some assassin. I thought it was a random assassin. That straight up could have been Koro Sensei. あんさつに。あ、語り始めた。決められた人間の記憶を。コロセンセ this is Kurosensei's real face. One thousand kill death ratio. One thousand hits. So this is now prison. So either Kurosensei got injured and they're bringing him into a hospital and they're experimenting or he got captured and they're forcing an experiment on him he looks like he just got captured he's having fun he's smiling experiment time shiro this is yanagi sawa or something and his eyes aren't fucked right now the left one right his left not our left so like that thing so I thought Koro Sensei wanted to be like a hero or something. Wasn't there like an important lore hinting about like how he wanted to be a hero? Tentacle time. Wow, 
ックを押し付けられた類かでしょはいすっごい優しそうな人なんですね監視役を押し付けられた Someone pressed into service as my monitor. Someone pressed into service as. What the fuck does that mean? The English does not make sense there. Someone pressed into service as my. What the hell is your monitor? I mean, she's monitoring him. Hmm. Does he fall in love with her? I wonder. <laughs> He's pretty funny. The t shirts are pretty funny. Phase SOD Sogayak Yonju Toyo. Hi. Who? Skidarakedaga. Kill him, but you can't. Ima at the Motashito Kona Nisuru Dakeda. Otskaresama this. Scotia send that I take the side. I call as the side shots Kitemasne. Yeah, she's teaching 3E. Okay, kill him. So he's the one getting married. Okay. So it was not principal at all. But she's still working at 3E. I wonder how Kade's big sister relates to Asuna principal. This guy sucks though. Marrying out of pity? And him, he's the big bad bro. This dude, Shiro is truly the final villain. Antimatter generating particle accelerators. Pseudoscience. I'm gonna act like I fucking know this shit, okay? Antimatter generating particle acceleration cycles into biomolecules. Yeah, whatever, sure, tentacle him up. Ooh. ヤナギ様。うん。手足少々。3をつけろ。ま、昇進継承内がどういうやめた方が。私自身が実験を巧みにコントロールすれば、成功確率は人知を超えた破壊の力が手に入る。どうふ。He's <笑> To influence the test to make it even better. What? What's the t-shirt today? Let's see it. Let's see it. So abusive, bro. Ugh. Hey, the vibes. Hey, that's the stuff. I hope he claps right now or something. But this is the uh, uh the radio. Uh, sorry, the the waves that we see from Nagisa and the Reaper too, right? He knows the frequencies. The wave, the shock, but from within. I just clapped him. Wonder if they fall in love. Why are you making this shit harder for the kids? <laughs> you want the three E kids to fail? No, this is to help them. But he's like intentionally making this shit harder for the kids, bro. Maybe. A pupil. Oh, okay, that's how he got caught. Oh, you piece of shit. The pup. Bro. This motherfucker. He sold out his master. Die. Die. Yeah, I mean, hey, it's the business of assassin. It's the business of assassins. Like, you can't just nobody. That's right, his face, bro. It's changed all. He's not sad, though. He's always just smiling. He betrayed you, though. Why? There's a piece of shit in the beginning. This straight up relates to Nagisa stuff. Episode 1, like the whole wanted to be seen aspect. No, I didn't see him for who he really was.
This honestly sounds more like Asano Principles methodology. There's like things blooming in this Bruh. He's using his future wife to be as bait right now. As like a sacrificial lamb, like a scapegoat. Like, this is it? Yep, just use her. She doesn't matter. Oh、<笑> Because she, she treats him like an actual human. He was treating his pupil as like the perfect assassin tool, just like, you know, all the different like optimizations and stuff. But he never saw him for what he was. And this is the difference that is seeing right now. And because of all of this, Koro Sensei was able to understand what it meant to really reach those kids, to see those kids for who they are. And that's why he's so good at teaching this, but it's first time teaching. <laughs> Oh shit, song's playing. For the first time. Oh, there it is. The new cohort of three E's. And then Koro Sensei blew that shit up and took the world hostage. <sighs> That's the end of today's episode, I guess. That's it, man. Man, this backstory, I think, is gonna end up so tragic because i mean we already know the outcome right at this point what do we know koro sensei used to be the reaper the first reaper got caught sold out by his own people because he couldn't see his people for what he was kaede's sister teaches him that he's also going to you know going to transform but the explosion in the building i wonder what that was all about maybe i don't want to believe that koro sensei did it but I can definitely believe that Shiro, he got like scared. Maybe he thought the experimentation was going too well and this monster was too strong. And therefore, his, he thought that maybe he could just kill him and get rid of it. Exploding the building and sacrificing, you know, this girl here too. Because, you know, Koro-sensei would, wouldn't leave if she was here. Something like that, I think, is going to be set up. And then we have, you know, please go, you know, teach 3E because she is teaching 3E right now i think that makes sense maybe not completely but something along those lines the backstory is cooking it's not over yet kaede stuff i didn't i mean so i was gonna say kiss believe it or not before the kiss happened the last thing on my mind i'm like what could be something so crazy that you know nagisa could be it was indeed a kiss 15 hit combo you know not quite the uh 40 hit combo that business they can do but, you know, it was still a kiss and everything is good. Kaede, I don't think it's going to suffer anything irreversible. This today's episode just giving us so much like more lore. Like, this is everything I've been ever asking for of this show. And it feels kind of sad because, you know, when the show starts to give you all these endgame secrets, you really know that the show is coming to an end. So it's just like we got a couple more left. That's it for me. If you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.